Hello everyone. So recently I received a package of Excel 6009 Boost Converter module from a local electronic seller. And we are gonna do, of course you already guessed, a look into the Excel 6009. So let's get started. Alright, so a bit of zoom view. And you can see there are two pillars right here which are basically the electrolytic high frequency filter capacitors. This circuit incorporates as all other boost converter circuits it incorporates this uh, iron core inductor which happens to be an SMD device. Now the brain of the whole circuit sits right here on this side reading as XL6009 E1. It is a 5 pin IC so basically each pin have their own control task and one pin is dedicated for the output. This IC is basically a switching MOSFET which has a switching frequency of around 400 kilohertz. This XL6009 IC right here has a bunch of circuits starting from comparator, summer, amplifier and as well as a smith trigger all packed up into one package. So in case you feel like going through the data sheet of this XL6009 IC links in the description down below. Now this circuit incorporates two types of diodes primarily. One is this freewheeling diode uh, actually this one is the reverse polarity diode and the other one inside of this uh, enclosure is the freewheeling diode which is uh, going with the inductor itself. Now the task of this uh, reverse polarity diode here is that it opposes reverse polarity and avoids the damage of the MOSFET driver circuit. So the last thing you want to test for uh, damage is that XL6009 IC itself and the first thing you would want to test for uh, any uh, sorts of damage is this SMD component which is uh, happening to be the reverse polarity diode. As for the operating limits of the circuit for input side it is 12 to 35 volts and at the output side for a rated current actually it is 18.5 to 40 volts at 2 ampere actually now for 3 ampere uh, if you want to uh, draw 3 amperes current it is basically always recommended for XL6009 type circuits to add a external cooling system which is maybe through a heat sink external heat sink or a cooling fan etc and it is not required to be mentioned that it consists of four terminals in plus in minus out minus out plus it is pretty evident now the one thing which I need to focus on is this trim pot because in this case the trim pot there is only one trim pot which infers that the current control is not there but the voltage control is there so the voltage control basically the potentiometer output is uh, sending a reference voltage to this pin right here of the XL6009 IC and that uh, signal basically is fed to the XL6009's uh, Schmidt trigger and then uh, going through a comparator it basically adjusts the output voltage such that it matches the desired voltage no matter what the input voltage is. Thus it the, this circuit becomes a very handy circuit for a smaller uh, applications such as a small uh, mini bo boost converter or something like that where uh, a smaller boost converter is basically needed. Now this boost converter circuit in a nutshell looks kind of like this. Here as you can see this side is the in plus and this side is the in minus and here is the out plus and here is the out minus. Just like in case we saw the boost converter circuit, you might notice that we have a 35 volt capacitor and a 50 volt capacitor which is the same capacitors as we have used here and right here. These are the input and output ripple filter capacitors mainly used for ripple filtering and all for you know PWM control and stuff like that 
and here is this chunky inductor which I was talking about lately this is the 330 written and this is the same inductor used here as a 330 micro henry slash 4 ampere inductor it is series connected to a most probably Schottky diode which happens to be 1N5824 and in the shunt connection which is for the reference voltage setting you will find a 10k or maybe 13.8k trim pot as you can see right here it's most probably 13.4 I believe I don't know exactly I guess it is 13.4 now this output of the from the trim pot is basically fed to the fifth pin of the IC which I showed right here and it is fed to a series of circuits which basically compare this voltage to the output voltage right here and accordingly adjusts with the switching circuit and uh, this duty cycle is accordingly controlled this is the VCC pin, this is the ground pin accordingly and this uh, overall XL6009 circuit comes in a TO2635L uh, actually casing system and this is the whole circuit for the overall scenario. The circuit has been taken from the XL6009 data sheet so do not come here telling me that hey this type of circuit doesn't exist and blah 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 links in the description down below so nevertheless for a tiny circuit it's an excellent choice for you know smaller circuit as I've mentioned so that is all uh, what is about uh, XL6009 please like this video if you find this you insightful for your uh, you know upcoming projects and stuffs like that anything just like this video hit this like button with a stone I don't know just like it and please subscribe if you want these type of videos coming then please support my channel thank you